Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. Today's going to be a little bit different. I'm not actually doing any makeup or skincare. I'm actually doing a tag video. I found this video through uh, One Beauty Addict, but it's not actually her tag. It belongs to, I believe, one sec, Katie Marie. So this is a Katie Marie tag and the tag is called the perfect subscriber tag question. So there's 13 questions about what the perfect subscriber um, to me would be. And so I thought just for a bit of fun, let's have a crack. Now, obviously this is about um, the kind of subscriber that, um, that I think is perfect and that could be different to what everybody else's is. So if you hear any noises in the background, that's probably my kids having showers or coming inside. I'll try and edit all of that out. But if you're interested, um, stick around. All right, welcome back. All right, so the first question is, do you subscribe right away when you find a new channel or video, or do you try a few videos first? That's a really easy question. So anyway, if I find a video from someone new that I've never seen before, I generally go over to their channel and I'll check out what kind of videos they make. And if they do make the content that I like, but not as frequent, then I will subscribe to them, but I won't generally check the bell unless they're producing a lot of content that I want to see. So for example, um, I don't really like a lot of content about um, try-ons or um, vlogs kind of thing like that, but I love watching um, empties and stuff like that. So if they do a lot of empties and they do a lot of the things that I like to see, I will definitely subscribe. I will definitely um, check the bell. But if they do a lot of vlogs and only some things that I like, then I'll subscribe, but I won't check the bell. So, and if they don't do anything else that I really like, then no, I don't because I don't have a lot of time to watch a lot of videos and the time that I do have I really want to sit there and I want to follow the people that bring out the content that I really enjoy. Alright question number two does the make sure you subscribe mantra ever sway you to subscribe? I'll start that again. Does the make sure you subscribe mantra make you want to subscribe or ever sway you to subscribe? Um yes and no like if I am watching a new video or a new um, channel and I sort of, it's a long one, I may sort of forget until they're like, oh yeah, you know, subscribe. Not generally though, like if I like something, I like something, you know, so um, I'll generally just sort of check out the personality and if it's something that I like, yeah, I will just subscribe. Um, but yeah, on a rare occasion, yeah, maybe, but I don't know. I think it's just habit. It's habit now, you know, we all we all want subscribers and we all sort of feel the need to put that in there. Um, everybody knows what the subscribe button is. Not everybody knows to check the bell, but eh, yeah. No, it doesn't really uh, sway me that much. Sometimes it reminds me um, if I haven't done that. But if I do really like somebody, I'll generally remember their name. And if I haven't subscribed, I'll go back in or I'll go back into my... Um, my history and find them through there and if I did like them and I didn't subscribe then I will subscribe so yeah all right question number three how many channels do you have the no notification bell turned on for oh um most of them if not all of them because um, like I said before if I really enjoy their content I'll definitely check the bell and um, yeah yeah most of them there's only maybe one or two that I really enjoy their um, their empties videos or or whatever, and but they they pump out a lot more other stuff that I'm just not interested in. So I would say a good 98% um, I've checked the bell with. So that's it. Number four, do you watch every video from your subscription feed or only your favourites? I try to watch all of the videos. Um, I do have a lot of subscriptions and um, they're generally pumping out three to five videos per week. And like I said, I don't have a lot of time. Um, so I will generally watch all the videos that I'm really, really interested in straight away. And then I'll sort of filter through and see if there's anything else that really sort of jumps out at me. And I'll either put that in my watch later or I'll watch it when I'm in bed. So there are some videos that I won't watch, but then there are some people that will pump out anything and I'll watch everything that they, um, <laughs> my computer just turned on. I'll, I'll watch everything that they pump out. Question number five. How many channels do you never miss an upload for? No matter how busy you are. This is question number five. Um, there's not a lot. Uh, I'm obsessed with a few channels. Um, I'm not going to tell you who they are, 
but let me see. One, two, three, four. I'd say five. Now I've I've got a lot of subscribers, but there's five that I will watch everything that they pump out and they could talk about random shit for all I care and I would still probably watch it because these people are so fantastic that I wish I was their friend in real life. Like I'm not generally like a stalky kind of person, but you know, when you find somebody that you can sort of relate to, um, <laughs> yeah, I'd be their friends for sure. Anyway, yeah, there's about five of them and um, two of them actually work together and they have their own channel so as well. So um, they make up three. So <laughs> yeah, so that's question number five. Question number six, what kind of commenter are you? Um, I like to comment on every single video if I can. Um, generally, I'm a positive commenter. I will... Um, um, mention something about the video that I liked or some of the content that I liked um, for whatever reason, whether it's a makeup product or a skincare product or whatever. Um, or even if it's just something that they're wearing that I think looks particularly flattering on them. I'm, I'm not a nasty commenter. Um, I just don't see the point in commenting if I've got nothing nice to say. So yeah, I am a pleasant commenter and a frequent commenter on videos. So. Question number seven, do you skip ads or watch? Oh, it depends. If it's one of those like um, six second ads or something like that, I'll generally watch it. But if I keep getting those like 20 second ads every minute or so and it drives me nuts, I will skip it. Um, yeah, it's just a force of habit. It comes on and you just want to push that skip button, but I try not to, but uh, <laughs> Yeah, it depends on how many ads they have. If it's just one or two, I'll generally watch it. But if, like, if they keep popping up and I'm like, Ugh, then yeah, I'll skip them. Uh, number eight, do you speed up videos? I didn't know that existed. And no, I didn't know it existed. So no, I don't. But would I? Uh, maybe. Have you seen those videos with those people that talk this fast? and it's a 30 minute video. I would probably speed that up, yeah, for sure. Um, but generally people uh, people that make content that I enjoy, they, they talk at a normal speed. There are some people that I wanna slow down. Can you do that? <laughs> There's this one chick, um, oh, I can't remember what her name, but she talks so fast and it, oh my God. Like, <laughs> I, can, I can almost not um, watch her sometimes because she's so much and, it scares my inner introvert, so <laughs> yeah. No, is there a slow down button? Please let me know down below if there is because there is one lady that I need to slow down just, just a little bit. All right. Number nine, do you click affiliate links or use affiliate codes? I don't have a problem with people having affiliate links or affiliate codes and if I was going to purchase an item that they had an affiliate link for, then I would definitely support somebody. Um, it wouldn't matter if it's a small channel or a big channel, I would support the one of the video that I'm watching. Um, yeah, I don't have a problem with it. We all need to make a living somehow and if I can help them somehow by purchasing something that's not going to hurt me at all, why not? What's the problem? Um, I can make my own mind up whether or not I want to buy that product or not or whether I believe them. It's my choice at the end of the day. Um, if I think that they're conning me, then whatever, you know, it's my choice. And yes, I, I will click an affiliate link or use an affiliate code if I'm going to purchase that item. Um, no problem there whatsoever. All right, number nine, no, that was number nine, number 10. What's your preference when it comes to video length? What's your sweet spot? I think it depends on what kind of video it is. So if I'm going to do just a simple mask, like a um, face mask or something like that, um, just a simple review, I think that five minutes sort of maximum is where I wanna go with that, um, do some smart editing. But if I'm gonna do empties, I would say probably about 15 minute mark. Um, when I see videos that like have got 20 minutes, whether they're um, get ready with me's or even longer, um, I'm like, eh, it has to be a set of circumstances that's perfect for me. Like the, the perfect brand, the perfect um, creator. Yeah, you know what I'm get, you're getting at? So like, um, yeah, uh, there's only one channel that I will watch where they have videos up to an hour and I will sit there and I'll watch the entire thing. But um, yeah. 15 minutes is where I like 20 minutes, 
is not too bad as well but once we start pushing past 20 minutes and I try and keep my videos like that but sometimes it's really really difficult to do because I talk too much so yeah I, I like 15 minutes for um, videos that need explaining like empties I like little, little mini reviews but if it's just about one product five to ten minutes maximum otherwise yeah all right question 11 do you thumbs up most videos I thumbs up all videos. Um, as soon as I click onto there and um, they start talking, I thumbs up. Um, yeah, yeah, I just do. It's just a habit now, and um, they went all to the effort of making that video, editing that video. I understand how much effort that that takes, especially with some of these programs that freeze up and they drive you nuts, and you could spend hours, hours editing a video that's only going to go for five, ten minutes. I appreciate every video that somebody has taken the time to post. They get a thumbs up, <laughs> for sure. All right, question number 12. Do you ever thumbs down a video? Simple answer is no. If I don't like their video, I click off. I don't see the point in thumbs downing it. What's a thumbs down gonna do other than tell them that you pissed off some way? If you really wanna tell them what the thumbs down is for, send them a message. Like, hey, I didn't like your video because, I don't know, you don't speak clearly or whatever and something that they could work on or or find a way to um, tell them without being too much of a brute so um, positive criticism or something like that but thumbs just a random thumbs down that doesn't explain anything it's so no nah. if I don't like some content or whatever I'll just click off it question number 13 do you share other youtubers video on your social medias I have. Um, I don't do it often. Um, I don't have a lot of traffic on, on my channel. Um, but if I, if I see something that I think that's going to benefit somebody, um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, no problem at all. And um, yeah, there's only 13 questions and we've pretty much gotten to the end. So yeah, that's what I think. Um, like I said, this was the perfect subscriber tag video created by Katie Marie. Um, Pretty simple, pretty fun. What's your perfect subscriber? Tell me down below. Um, my perfect one would be somebody who follows me all the time and like likes all my videos, shares them, I don't know, um, makes a little comment so I know that they're watching. But then I'm somebody who's only got 30 subscribers so um, I would love to have a lot more than I do. I just need to create some better content and more regularly. Anyway, if you enjoyed my video, feel free to give it a thumbs up so other people can see it. Feel free to subscribe if you like. Don't forget to check the bell so you can be notified of every time that I upload a video, which isn't as often as I'd like. Maybe two or three times a fortnight. I'd like to do more. So anyway, if you stuck around for this whole video, thank you very much. Bye.